Hey, what's going on, guys? We are almost at 200,000 subscribers. If you're not currently subscribed and you want to help us reach that goal, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now. Let me let me let me check this out real quick, chat. Epic just posted something on creative signaling update competitive Fortnite 2020. Happy New Year, Fortnite competitors. Throughout 2019, our competitive and anti-cheat teams work together to remove players from tournament arena who broke our competitive code of contact conduct or any other official rules pertaining to Fortnite competitions. Our primary goal is to support competition that is fun, inclusive, and in line with the overall spirit of Fortnite. Unsportsmanlike conduct from participants is not within that spirit, and we will not tolerate it in Fortnite competition. 2020 competitive integrity. For 2020 and beyond, our team will continue to monitor competitive play in all regions and will take action against unfair play if necessary. With this new year of Fortnite competition, we wanted to highlight a specific rule and provide clarification on what we'll be actioning on moving forward. Competitive Fortnite's collusion rule. Players may not work together to deceive or otherwise cheat other players during any match. Collusion. Examples of collusion include the following. Players working together during the match while on opposing teams. Planned movement. Agreement between two or more opposing players to land at specific locations or to move through the map in a planned way before the match begins. Communication. Sending or receiving signals both verbal and nonverbal to communicate with opposing players. Item dumping. Intentionally dropping items for an opposing player to collect. So no pickaxe swinging is that what is that what I'm getting from this? Let me see. Throughout the last year, players have been sending or receiving signals more commonly during the official Fortnite competitions to the point where many players are confused around the ruling. For 2020, starting 1 20 2020, that's today, we're taking action against any kind of in-game communication between opponents via signaling in official tournaments matches. This includes, but is not limited to, pickaxe swinging, emoting, toy tossing, jumping. What the heck? <laughs> Yo, okay. So, <clears throat> all right, let me let me keep reading before. Any cases of signaling like those listed above will now result in a teaming slash collusion penalty. We want to be explicitly clear that pacifist pacifism style gameplay is still allowed, but if signaling is involved, we'll review and take appropriate action for the teaming slash collusion penalty. Repeat offenders may be subject to increased penalties. Jumping though, you're obvious. So when when players are rotating in, right, a lot of times jumping is involved because you don't want to get you don't want to you don't want to get sniped or predictably hit. So you're jumping. And let's say I'm jumping and I turn around and I see somebody else jumping towards circle, and we both make eye contact while jumping. Is that collusion? I don't know, man. This just seems off. This just seems off. If you see something, say something. This sounds like the teleprompter at an airport. If you see any suspicious activities, please alert a TSA agent immediately. I don't know, man. This this is kind of weird. We're we're getting into weird territory right here with this one because you got to understand, you got to understand that at the end of the day, if two players are on the opposite side of the circle and they happen to cross each other and they're both smart players that don't have an advantage over each other, it is not in their interest at all to attack each other. I don't care who I'm picking, like who I'm swinging my pickaxe at or who I'm walking like side by side with from a distance. I'm not trying to help them win. I'm trying to help myself win. All that pickaxe swinging stuff is all in self-interest. There's no, there's no, like it's, you're not doing it to help the other player. If the other player gets beamed and you know that they're one shot, you're just going to shoot them in the back and put them down. Like regardless, right? This is all in self-interest. Like, some people take it to the extreme, and I completely understand like that you, sometimes it feels like a little too much. But if two players don't get circled and they have to rotate and they're both right next to each other, it makes sense that they like one of them would be like, all right, dude, we're both going to get killed if we don't move. Can you not shoot me in the back? Like Obviously, they're not saying that, but they imply that through their movement. They imply that through the pickaxe swinging, through dropping an emote. And then... Now, what's going to be the difference between dropping an emote and like like for collusion and then doing an emote as a way to intimidate or, you know, get into the brain of your opponent? A lot of times people will do emotes while they're W keying you just to get like under your skin. And like now you got to now you just you just can't do that anymore because like it could be perceived as teaming. I don't know. This is such a weird like kind of out of left field like here's the reality here's the reality people have been pickaxe swinging since the beginning of fortnite right you know why epic's doing taking action right now you know why they're taking action right now is because pickaxe swinging 
especially in chapter two, has been such an integral, important part of the game. Here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. It's very simple. I'll explain it to you. Because that's what I do. I explain things. Here's the reason why. Okay? A player that has an advantage over another player is more willing to attack that player. Right? And pickaxe swing, like I said, it's been a thing since the beginning. But this, this season, due to the lack of mobility, due to the larger map and, and, and the way the zones are pulling or whatever... There is way more situations where two players are not at an advantage over each other in any way, and they're both at a disadvantage to the circle. They both have to rotate long distances to the circle or have to make crazy rotations towards the circle, and they both don't have an advantage over each other. Now, what can that advantage be, right? Let's look at the list of things that have been in the game before. You've had ballers. You've had grapplers, you've had launch pads, you've had bounce pads, you've had rift to goes, you've had all kinds of movement things that players can carry around or have near them, right? And those advantages allow those players to engage in combat that they might not uh, engage in if they didn't have those mobility items. So let's say I'm on the edge of the map and I'm surrounded by a few players, but I have a rift to go and I intend to use this rift to go. I see the circle push far away, right? And I notice somebody near me, he's trying to rotate. He doesn't have mobility. What do I do? I start shooting them in the back, right? Um, now this situation, he turns around, he starts building towards me or whatever, but I, I went for a kill because I have an advantage over that player. I know that I have a rift to go or I have a launch pad. They don't. I get to shoot them without too much risk because even if they turn around and start cranking or start trying to take that fight, you can fall back on your rift to go. You can fall back on your launch pad. You have that advantage over them. You will more, you're more willing to take a fight. Nowadays, a lot of times, I mean, there's no advantage. Like you, 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 you can't see their health bar. You don't really know if the circle pulls far away. You're both in the same situation, right? There's never a situation where somebody has a launch pad and somebody doesn't. You both never have mobility. So you both have to make that rotation. And that's why in this season, in this chapter in particular, pickaxe swinging has gone up exponentially. I've never seen so much pickaxe swinging and so much like collusion until this chapter. Because this is the chapter that has literally nothing. When you when the circle goes opposite direction, you only have your mats, which no one can see. You only have your mats, your health, and whatever heals you're carrying. And that's all you're going to get to move around the map. And everybody is on the same page. As a result, everybody is at a disadvantage when the circle goes away from them. And everybody is in, it's in their best interest to move towards the circle. Without dying, without fighting. This is weird. I don't see it like this is just almost unenforceable too. It's it's like jumping too. They included jumping, which is weird because when you're moving around the map, you're always jumping. So if two players look at each other and they're both jumping, what the hell are you supposed to you're supposed to just start shooting them and, and like ruin your game so you don't get banned? If they really want a way to kind of solve this issue, there needs to be more advantages and more opportunity for a player to to move around the map using mobility that they've acquired through the game and, and use that advantage that they have over other players who might not have that so there'd be less need to to pick axe wing it just, it just wouldn't happen as often bang bang Chat, please don't do anything bad, okay? Chat, chat, chat. Chat, chat, please. I, I, I didn't mean it. Chat, delete the VOD. Delete the VOD. Mods. Oh my God. Chat, chat, my, chat, my, my aim, my aim. You see what happened? Is it, my pickaxe got stuck, and now I can't aim. Delete the pod. But yeah, man, I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. Unclip it, please. Didn't you predict they would do this? I did. I did predict that they would. <laughs> they would do this. It, it makes sense from like a visual perspective because like 
it looks bad for casual viewers to see two opposing players pickaxe at each other and kind of collude in that way. But it makes sense from a competitive perspective to, to have that a thing because like that's just how it's a battle royale. You, you got to survive. That's that's the purpose. And part of surviving sometimes is not engaging in fights with another player if you're both at a severe disadvantage to the circle. That's just how it is. Does it affect them enough to ban it? No, it does. I mean, that's why they're banning it because it clearly affects them uh, from a, from a uh, how how competitive is perceived on a casual level. Deli Wan, thank you so much for the five gifted man. Hope you're having a great day. Shout out to those five people who just got gifted a sub. Shout out to Deli for gifting. Um. No, you, you you gotta you gotta realize that the casual audience is, makes up a majority of you know Fortnite competitive viewership, um, and the perception that the casual audience gives the game is very important to Epic. So it makes sense from from that business perspective. How often, when you see people pickaxing each other, pickaxing at each other. You, you notice in the chat, there's a lot of people who are like, why are they not fighting? Teaming? Question mark? And like, they don't understand the purpose or the, you know, the point of pickaxing. They don't understand why it's there. Why, why pro players do that. And most of the casual audience are not going to understand seeing two players kind of like, uh, have sights on each other and not take shots. I'm so freaking good, dude. I'm like the best. I did not mean to do that, by the way. Oh, Lord, he's one of those. Yeah, that's right, buddy. That's right. No freebies. No freebies in this house. Yeah, dude. People are gonna be accidentally pickaxing so much in the next tournament because it's so it's such a just like a core part of the game in terms of like competitive uh competitive uh pff, culture. There's no way that people are not gonna be pickaxing on accident. Like pro players, casual players, top tier players. There's no way people are not going to accidentally be pickaxing. How does this guy pull up on me like that? There is another side of it. There is another side of it. There are so many kids who actually cheat in every single Fortnite tournament. Like, they're in Discord with all their buddies off stream, and they use pickaxe swinging as a way of communicating in game without actually really communicating. But in reality, they are giving each other comms and colluding. There's nothing you can do about that when you have public tournaments. Um, there's going to be people who are teaming undetected like that. But, like, if you try to go after those people, you're really not going to go after those people because those people will still team. They'll just have to have other forms of communication that are more, way more subtle and less identifiable. Just make a new signal. Random cone build. All right, guys. Random cone builds is the new uh, technique to avoid fights. You see somebody throw out a random cone build like this. And then, and then after that, they have to do this specific edit. Not this one. The Rito edit. That's the sign of peace. Guys, please. He, he can't see me, so he's not colluding. <laughs> Ow. I, I wish you could block the trap with a ramp like that. 
Like, I wish you, were, if you were quick enough, like I was, that it that it wouldn't hit you. But I don't know. Good man, good man. He fought well. All right, so we got one guy over there, one guy over there, a third guy. There are all, all three of them over there. White. He's white. Dang, son. Oh, he was at the house. Now he's cranking. Look at him cranking, bro. He has circle. So he just starts cranking up, bro. I respect it, bro. You're on their grind. Grinding for chronic. Am I right? Am I right? How many kills you got, bro? One, two, three kills. Ah, with the way you're playing, you probably got zero. I can smell. I can smell a donut. I can smell the donut. Here comes the nades. Hundred. Now you're scared. Now you shook. Oh, he rushing. He's rushing. Let me sneak this in. Yes, sir!